Hi guys, welcome back to Python Tutorials by IT Tools Training. In this session, as I had promised, we'll be discussing about inheritance. Inheritance is a process in which one object or class acquires all the properties and behaviors of its parent class automatically. That is nothing but if I'm defining class A as parent class and class B as its child, class B can access all the functions on whatever you have defined inside that automatically. Now, in inheritance, there are two types. First one is multi-level. That is nothing but if I'm having class A, and class B is its child class. See, okay, first of all, class A can be called as parent class, base class, or super class. Class B will be called as child class, subclass, or derived class. So, in multi level, class A is your super class, class B is subclass, and this is your derived class, class C. Or you can also call as class A as base class 2, class B as base class 1, and C as derived class. Okay, the next type is multiple. Okay, this is nothing but hierarchy method. Say for example, grandfather, father, and child. So that's how it works. Uh, say for example, if this is my father's PC, this is my PC too. That's how it works. Now coming to multiple. Here, A and both are not connected to each other. But C belongs to or C is child class of both A and B. That means C can fetch features of A as well as B. That is nothing but multiple level. So let's start your inheritance with example by using PyCharm. Okay, let's start. Class A. Let us take simple names so that we won't get confused. Definition. Method. One. Now just print and from A1. Okay. Define method A2. Okay, now let us go to the next class. Class B. First of all, let me not define that and show you the output. Now, Let me copy everything. So whenever you are copying, you should just take care of Space hmm. 
No, it's fine. Let us not type C now only. Now I should call my class, right? A one, maybe is equal to So let us run this first. Okay, my both the methods from class A printed these two statements for me. So there'll be no confusion where from which set statement is coming. Now, if I'm just typing B1 is equal to even dot C I won't do anything you can see the number list of methods which I can access that is method B1 method B2 on the screen you can see that only two but if I'm just typing class A inside this class B in the parenthesis I'm just mentioning class A now see method a1 method a2 method b1 method b2 all the, the four methods i can access that is the power of inheritance now what can i write anything your wish like you can access any method Okay, let me type method B1. I think that much will be enough. Let us run this. See, I am from A1, I am from A2. And I'm from A1 again because of this. So I can access method A1 by using B1, that is class B, and I, I am from B1. So this is nothing but inheritance. Let's see how multi-level inheritance works now. Now here, first of all, let me copy. Okay, method Yeah, no C1 is equal to C1 dot, you can see the list of methods I can access, all the methods, like all the six methods from A to C I can access. Let us take B. B2. C1 dot. Method. C2. 
Okay. Let us run this. A1, A2, and then A1, B1, and then B2, and C2. So I hope there is no confusion. Let me show you once more. Class A, this is your super class. This is your base class. Class B is inheriting all the features of A. And now here class C is inheriting features of B, but it can also access A. That is nothing but A is grandparent, B is parent, and C is child. I have not mentioned here A, just B. This is nothing but multi-level. Let us go to multiple. I need not to change much. Here, A comma B. Here, A will be having nothing. B will be having nothing. A and B are not connected to each other. C is connected to both. That is, C is inherited or derived from both A and B. That is nothing but multiple. Here, I should change my statements. It is this. It is this, sorry. And I can add one more here. C1 dot. I can access all method A2. Maybe one, A1. Okay, let us run this. A1, A2, B1, B2, B2 is yes, because of this that is c c2 a2 okay that's all about inheritance thanks for watching